Howdy, peoples, how you going? Alright, we're cooking popcorn without a microwave. Um, Alright, the reason I'm doing this is because the next video is going to be... Uh, <laughs> butterscotch popcorn. And in order to make butterscotch popcorn, you got to make popcorn first. So I'm going to do this video for people out there who haven't made popcorn before or who haven't made it with a microwave before. Alright, so most of us have got like a mangy pack of popping corn in the back of the cupboard, but for those of you who have never bought it before, if you go in your potato chip aisle, where they are with the nuts and popcorn, you'll find popping corn down the bottom in a little bag. So, popping corn looks like that. Let's see if you can see it. Alright. Oh, there you go. Alright. So, I'm using 125 grams because that's what I need for the butterscotch popcorn. But you can put as much as you want in. So you need a big pot. You definitely need a lid. Alright, the first time I ever made it, I didn't use a lid. And let's just say it was fun, but I couldn't eat any of it because it was all on the floor. So, alright, you need that. So I'm getting my oil cranking now. It's two tablespoons of oil in there. And um, I always chuck one in there. And when it pops, I guess it's ready. So... You wait for that, and then once that pops, chuck it all in, chuck the lid on. Alright, so while waiting for that, I'll just say as well, if you want to make hot buttered popcorn, you can get some butter and put it in a small saucepan, and heat, melt it down, and as soon as your popcorn's ready and it's still hot in there, pour it over it, little bits at a time, keep stirring it really quick, keep trying it until you get it to exactly how you like it, and there's your hot buttered popcorn. If you want it to go cold and then you get some icing sugar and you sift it on it, stir it in, sift it on it. Um, kids love it. I grew up with that as a kid. So yeah, you can do popcorn with icing sugar on it and it is yum. So there's the two, two basic ways of doing it or you just eat it fresh and hot. So I'll fast forward now and I'll come back in a minute when it pops. when you stop, when they've almost stopped. You don't want to leave it too late or you'll burn it. You gotta shake it, but you do. So clearly, if you wanted it like right, a massive munch, you put a lot more on. But um, I need a certain amount for the butterscotch, but it should be more than that one. So it's still going fast. Still hitting it fast, hopefully you can see that. Still going away, no worries. Alright, now it's starting to slow down, see that? Give it a couple more. too many because if you do it for that fraction too long you don't want burnt popcorn it will taste shit. Right. 
Oh, they're still having a ball. Okay. So, <laughs> so there you have it. There's your popcorn, all right? So that was 125 grams. <laughs> it just seems gold. Um, yeah, 125 grams, uh, which will be a big bowl of it. So, yeah, do your butter or do your thing or just eat a lot of that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm just about to do butterscotch popcorn. <laughs> it just keeps going. Um, butterscotch popcorn. So, I'll catch you soon. Bye.